Well, good morning, HCC kids. Thank you for tuning in for another children's segment. My name is Pastor Brad, and I have a good friend of mine with me. How are you, Big Mike? That's right, and we have an exciting lesson for each of you today. So how many of you are doing e-learning right now for all of your school? That's right, well, we're gonna act out a scene real quick for you guys, and I'm gonna be the teacher, Mike's the student, so let's rock and roll. Well, good morning, class. Thank you for tuning Mom, in for another I really don't beautiful do this. day. It's we are excited boring. that you, Michael. I'd rather sleep. Michael. Yes, Mr. Crevenston? Can you please mute yourself, okay? Can you hit the mute button for me? Okay, good, thank you, because we can all hear that weird conversation with your mom, thank you. So, as I was saying, we're gonna talk about how to write 10 essays today. That's right, we're gonna write 10, and we need to learn how to write, Michael? Michael? Yes? Why is there a face mask on? I'm trying to prevent the spread of COVID. Michael, do you realize that you are at your house, I'm at my house, and all your friends are at their houses? You don't need to wear the mask, okay? Because we can't understand what you're saying, and it's a distraction. Take it off. Can you be a buddy and take it off for me? Okay, thank you. I know Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, but Jesus, I am suffering. Okay, back to our introduction paragraphs. You need to make sure when you write these paragraphs that you're telling us three things that you are gonna talk about in your essay. Michael Arima. Michael, Michael. Yes, Mr. Creviston? Why is there a blanket on your head? Uh, I was sleeping. Okay, Michael, we do not sleep during class. If you are not getting enough sleep, okay, you need to go to sleep earlier at night. Do not sleep in class. I need you engaged, okay? Now, how many of you kids out there have experienced kids in your class, or maybe it's you yourself, that aren't doing what you should be doing during school? Well, Jesus talks about there's a way that he wants each of us to live as his disciples. Jesus was talking to his disciples one day and said, I am the light of the world. In other words, Jesus is saying, I am showing the world what God looks like and what his love looks like. And then he tells his disciples, and you are the light of the world. And then he tells them this in Matthew 5, 16. He says, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Jesus says the decisions we make and the actions we do show the world who God is and how he loves. And if we live our life doing these good works that God has for us, our friends who watch, they might also put their faith in Jesus Christ himself and become one of his followers. And so he says, let your light shine at all times, whether you're at school or at home, and we have to have the mindset of, I will be the light. Can you say that with me this morning? I will be the light. And so we're gonna act out this scene one more time, but I want you guys to tell us if Mike is being the light or if he's not being the light by what he is choosing to do in class. So let's go ahead and try this again. So kids, we wanna make sure that we are gonna write our 10 essays this morning. Does anybody have any questions about ooh, the ooh, essays? Me. Me. Yes, Pick me. Michael. Yes, what is your question? I just wanted to show you guys my new bear that I got at the carnival. Okay, let's stop, kids. Is Mike being the light right now, or is he not being the light? That's right, he's not being the light, okay? So let's try another one. All right, so we're gonna make sure that you get your 10 essays written. You'll have 10 minutes to complete it. Um, do we have any questions before we begin? I do. Yes, Michael. Am I able to f help my friend Jimmy with his... Okay, let's stop there, kids. Is Mike being the light by choosing to help one of his friends? That's right, he is choosing to be the light. So here's the challenge, kids. God wants each of us to be the light, whether we are at home, whether with our friends, or we're with our parents. And that means we have to choose to do these good works. So say it with me one more time. I will be the light. One more time, I will be the light. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your love and grace. I pray that you would give us the desire, the passion, and the ability to be the light and let our light shine so that others would see our good works and they too would love you and would know you. It's in your name we pray. Amen.